Yo, yo, welcome back to Trippy Commentaries and our playthrough of GTA Online. We are going to conquer the San Andreas Flight School. We actually already defeated the Outside Loop, Engine Failure, Chase Parachute, and City Landing Challenges. But now we must face the Moving Landing Challenge. It says we're going to have to land a helicopter on a moving truck. Uh, it doesn't sound too difficult. It actually sounds a little bit easier than, than some of the other things we've already done. Yep. We'll see what happens. I'm RJ, joined by FPS Kyle. What's going on now? RJ, you already have a little bit of experience of trying to land a helicopter on something, as we've all done it on the blimp before. So and I think this UFOs. might be a little bit easier than those. Um, really? That's good to know. All right, so it seems pretty standard. Uh, looks like we're using the new Swift, I think that is. The or Hilo. Interesting. All right, uh, we're also, of course, joined by C-Dub, who is uh, chilling over there at the Tennessee Trippy Comps HQ uh, over there in East Tennessee. Uh, Corey, I know you have already conquered this mission. Uh, what did you uh, do on here? How'd you do? I just flew as basically as fast as I can, kind of like you're doing, got right up to the uh, truck, lined it up. You got to stay in there low and drop it in there pretty easy. Uh, I didn't have too much trouble with this one. Wow. Shockingly easy. Uh, does this count, FPS Kyle? I'm on there. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it is counting it for you. You son of a bitch. This game. is uh, NFL rules. You must have at least two tires. Uh, hmm. All right. Um, I guess maybe all three tires need to be on it. All right. Let's try this again as uh, the time is ticking. And then don't hit the, uh, try to get it down before, the, before the tunnel. There you go. How's that? Bronze Star, uh, not the best, but hey, we'll take it. Take it to The good on. thing is we can always come back to these and get more money and get better positions later on. Yeah. Now, uh, I defeated this challenge, passing the controller to FPS Kyle, who will take on the next challenge, which is probably going to be a difficult one. Uh, yeah, this is the one where I stopped it. I tried it a couple times, and I was like, oh, man, I'm giving up. <laughs> oh, really? First attempt. Yeah, uh, uh, this one here is the, the formation flight. Oh boy! And uh, yeah, it should I mean, be interesting. Kind of self-explanatory. Just uh, stay in formation. C Dub, uh, let us know what the hell we have to do to get by this challenge. Well, there's basically going to be a large orb that uh, illustrates the area you have to stay within. You're going to be flying at the tail end of this formation. Uh, you just got to stay up and uh, mimic their movements. Try to stay within that little uh, zone that uh, keeps you in formation. And uh, hopefully we can pass this and move on to the next one. All right, K-Mac, let's do this. Now, something I would like to mention here is it seems like uh, the wind and, uh, you know, different pressure in the air does not affect them like it does us. Um, they fly fucking completely smooth here. Hmm, very difficult. Uh, going to have to keep it steady, Kyle, that's yeah. for sure. Uh, while you're doing this challenge, I just want to give a special shout-out to all of our uh, fans of Trippy Commentaries that have been fans with us for a long time. It's really surprising to see so many comments of you who, who are fans back before we had, like, 100 subscribers. It's funny how you guys have stuck around, so uh, we really appreciate it. We really want to work hard to bring you the best content possible on YouTube all the best playthroughs, uh, all the best Easter eggs. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned, uh, drop your comment. We'll always get back to you, and uh, we just really appreciate those of you who have been longtime subscribers, and uh, we will pay you back. Uh, we'll, we'll figure a way to uh, give you guys something huge very soon. Uh, C-Dub, man, this looks really difficult. I'll yeah, this is uh, most definitely one of the toughest missions of the flight school. It's hard enough just to keep up with the formation, uh, let alone actually stay in it. There's not a lot of uh, margin for error here. Yeah, you don't want to run into the other ones. I've done it before and blown up. So it's... Now, how are you doing, uh, Kyle? Do you think you have a chance of getting a respectable finish here? Uh, I don't know. This is where it gets to you in order. So oh, watch out. This is where, yeah. Uh... God damn it. Keep it steady. How'd you do on this mission, c -Dub? Uh It took me a couple of attempts. I think I ended up getting the bronze star. Man, 
these jets do oh, look really cool. Awesome. Um, I've had some gripes that I've mentioned before with them that I wish they would put a jet. Oh, oh boy, I was about to say a missile launcher on the jet. Kyle, uh, you know, if you had to lose, you might as well go out like that. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying, man. If you fall out of formation, you might as well just kill yourself. Right. Uh, suicide is viable in this situation. I'll go ahead and jump back into formation flight, and let's see how I can do that. Like man. I said, one thing I want to mention about it, the controls on this, it's very touchy. So the little bit, little bit of movement, man, is going to get you off. So definitely going to try to keep it, uh, keep it under control. And uh, like I said, the wind and stuff definitely messes with you. Yeah, I can imagine now. Uh, we are still pretty low level here as far as uh, GTA Online is concerned. I think we're only like level 20 or so. So we don't have the best flying stat. Now, I know when I fly around in a jet on single player, most of the time I like to use Trevor. And Trevor's flying ability is maxed out. He's like a retired military uh, pilot or something like that. So definitely a lot easier to use him. In this case... You know, we're kind of at ground zero. Whoa. And uh, I, I can imagine this is only the easy part here, Kyle. What went wrong in your, uh, of course, flight there other than you crashing into the, well, the road? Yeah, it seems like all it takes is like, you know, I've done it before where you start off nice and smooth, nice and calm. Once you kind of break off the pack, it's pretty difficult to try to get yourself right back in there. Hmm. Perhaps not uh, hit so much on the gas and just worry about staying yeah. in line. In fact, let, let me go ahead and enter uh, first-person mode. I think that might actually make it a little bit easier as well. Damn, these jets, it's almost like they're not going slow, they're not going fast, they're kind of going in between, making it rather difficult. I imagine this would be quite the uh, spectacle for anybody watching on the beach there, <laughs> flying over the pier. I'm trying, damn it. Okay, now now the view has betrayed me as I can't see my oh, partner. Watch, watch out. out. Uh, is that negative points? No, but if you do blow up, obviously it's <laughs> you're not going to be able to complete the mission here. Damn. Whole new uh, respect here for the Blue Angels after doing this. Damn it. Whoa, this thing is extremely touchy, Kyle. Yeah. I have to say that even though you, you kind of told us that, it's even worse than I imagined. Ah. Uh, Man. All right, you're doing all right. Now they're going to do a uh, inside loop here, so you got to uh, Great. try to follow them with what they do. They do pull up pretty quick here. So. Whoa! It's like Space Mountain here. Although, never mind, Space Mountain doesn't have any loop to loops. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the Hulk at uh, Islands of Adventure here in Florida. Okay, uh, where the hell have they, they gone? Are, they did a full loop, so they're at the ground again. They're at the low level. They're where really the gone. the fuck? They're are the yellow they? on your map. Okay, yeah. Uh, you're going the opposite direction. Son of a bitch. All right. Oh, man. This is hard as fuck. Yeah, that, this is the first big challenge of uh, the flight school. We'll meet you guys back in the air. All right, here's the flip, Kyle. Um, man, we already have enough points. If we can just kind of get the checkpoint and not worry about it here. Yeah, and don't crash. All right, so there, there we go. go. We're back at least on course for the checkpoint. Now, this one goes up and does an inverted. Okay. So you have to do that. And you got to get in the blue. So there yeah. it is right there. All right. Try to catch up to these guys. You got to get upside down as well. Okay. We'll right. take it. We we'll take it. it. Fuck it. Bronze Star Corey. I think Bronze Star sounds pretty damn good to me. That'll work. That'll uh, that'll get us on to the next mission. If I'm not mistaken, we are heading to the shooting range in the Buzzard attack helicopter. We're going to raise some help. Nice. Really? Back in the Buzzard, an old favorite? Yes. It'd be nice to take out some aggression that we've had after uh, trying that one out. A couple mistakes went down. I... Uh, thought you could pause it because of course <laughs> it's not like we're facing online guys right now it's just a job that you get online uh it was a deadly pause as that split second was all i needed to uh crash into the road so uh, needless to say we did die a couple times well, we have vanquished that mission kyle now the controller's in your hands can you do this here i know you're a master with the buzzard and pretty much all military equipment yeah, um, 
I mainly use the missiles when I'm using the uh, buzzard, so... True. Very good point. This will be fun to use the uh, the gun. Any uh, any advice for me there, Corey? Yeah, you're just going to have to shoot these targets as it shows you. Uh, at one point, you are going to have to use the missiles uh, to blow up multiple targets at once. Uh, my best advice is to get as close as you can and just uh, try to keep from wrecking the damn thing. This mission reminds me a lot of uh, doing the remote control helicopter missions from Vice City, for those yeah. of you who've played that game. They need to make an HD remake of Vice City and San Andreas, just kind of, you know, a facelift for the game. I think people would be into it, especially if you give it the, uh, the same engine and the same treatment as you have here in GTA V. I think people would definitely go for that, that's for sure especially if you release it on the next-gen consoles. All right, uh, Kyle, how you doing so far? Looks like you got uh, one target there. A little bit fucking trying to get this thing under control. Machine gun's not the easiest to use. Uh, like you said, we all pretty much use the missile launcher as uh, the rockets tend to do a quick job at killing, and they're heat-sinking, so, or heat-seeking, so don't have to worry about too much as far as accuracy, that's for sure. Corey, uh, how are you behind the wheel of a buzzard? Uh, I'm pretty good on the uh, flight stick here of this buzzard. This mission was uh, definitely a challenge for me. Uh, it's hard to maintain your position uh, as well as your altitude and uh, shift around while focusing with the gun. Definitely takes a, a keen sense of hand-eye coordination and a great ability to multitask. But uh, it, I didn't find this to be the toughest of the missions, that's for sure. All right, Kyle, you might want to switch up to your rockets here for the final test. Okay. What do we got here for the final? There they are. There's three on the roof there. Ooh, it looks like you get an extra uh, rocket ah, with okay. homing off. Very interesting. It is interesting. Hmm. wonder if they have added that in single player. Have yet to check that out. That would be pretty cool. You actually have plenty of time here now that I look at it. I thought it was going the opposite way. It's counting down, so take your time, Kyle. Your score's only at two. This uh, this definitely takes um, use of multiple fingers at a time uh, to get this going. No, no doubt. No doubt. There you go. Score reached three. Uh, I feel like they probably could have come up with a little bit more of an inventive uh, mini game here than this. But it's not terrible, I suppose. I'm not sure why they didn't put weaponry on the Swift, so that way we could have used that. That would have been nice. Now, uh, they did switch up the helicopter controls quite a bit from GTA 4. A lot of people did complain about that. For the most part, the new vehicle controls in this game are quite a bit better than GTA 4, which was a little bit odd. I mean, it felt okay once you got used to it, but the gravity felt just just a little bit off. Um, this has perfected that, and it feels a little bit more like the classic GTAs. In fact, way better. Pretty much perfected versions of those. Uh, but the helicopter's a little bit different. I feel like maybe the helicopter... Oh, no. Oh, you I couldn't failed. get that last one is behind a damn I'll hole. take care of this. No worries. But I feel like... Uh, they kind of uh, dropped the ball a little bit with the helicopter. I feel like the helicopter controls were better in Grand Theft Auto 4. They're not terrible, but they're I mean, they're, they're definitely touchy, that's for sure. All right. So you need a score of 10. Kyle, you uh, only managed to get, I think it was like three or four there. Let's try to use this rocket launcher to uh, take out multiple at once. You can definitely tell the touchy controls are coming into play here. Uh, might have to use, uh, looks like we're going to have to use the machine gun here. Corey, uh, how many times did it take for you to uh, defeat this mission? I actually got it on the first shot. I was pretty lucky. Uh, it definitely takes a steady hand, and you really got to focus on it. But, uh, you know, it's uh, not too hard to get at least the bronze star. Yeah, I've already got, uh, looks like five here, halfway there. Plenty of time left. All right, looks like there is one on top of the crane up here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and grab that one. Oh, just missed there. 
There we go. All right, three more to go, guys. Let's see if we can track down these damn uh, targets. There's two of them there. Don't seem too difficult to get here. Drop down. This would have been a good mission for us to use the Hydra. They yeah, would have added sure. the Hydra. That would have meant that would have made this quite a bit more interesting. There's two more, and one more. We have the uh, the bronze medal. It looks like a pretty difficult mission to get gold on. I gotta say, uh, Corey, have have you gotten gold on this one yet? No, I will. Uh, I mean, I definitely intend on attempting to get gold. Uh, on all of the flight school missions, but I have a feeling it's going to be uh, fairly tough and it will re require quite a few attempts. All right, right now we're sitting at silver here. There is two right here. Our time is uh, of the essence. Damn, Bronze Star. Ah, okay, so it was, that was our target to get it. silver. Anyways, we uh, passed. We take the bronze once again. That seems to be... Uh, a medal we get a lot of the time, but that's fine. We still get 10, 10 grand. 000, yeah. That works for me. I'll take 10 grand. So uh, we have defeated that mission. Let's go ahead and finish off the flight school challenges in the next episode. Thank you for watching this episode. Make sure to stay tuned to the rest of the GTA Online playthrough. We have a ton planned for you guys including finishing off the San Andreas Flight School. We still have to do the ground level challenge, as well as two others. It's probably only going to get more difficult. Yep. I'm RJ for KMAC and C-Dub. Peace out, guys. See you on the flip side. Trippy.